Hello miniature lovers. This is Allie and welcome to my channel. Now this is my first voiceover and I specifically filmed the assembling of this uh, vintage kit from Crisenbon. It's a ladder back chair uh, to do a voiceover on it. And uh, my microphone on my cell phone is broken, so I'm trying to use earbuds. Hopefully it's working. Anyway, this is the directions that come with the kit. You can see they're like almost like hand typed and photocopied. Uh, this is original 80s vintage prison bond ladder back chair kit. But um, I think they still do make them, just a uh, more modern packaging. This is mini kit CHR2402. That's a cute little uh, request that you can mail with $2 to receive the Krizenbon catalog, which is so before internet. <laughs> That's a little stain pouch. Um, it's like, I guess, a mahogany. Being that it's 30 years old, um, I'm not going to use it. But also, I have um, the idea of a technique that I saw on YouTube for regular furniture. Now, the good thing about this kit is it's only five pieces. It's two sides, a back, a little spindle, and the seat. I am assembling it with the Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. I'm smelling it. <laughs> I had I had trouble trying to figure out whether the top needed to be punctured, you know, like old regular super glue with the push pin they used to give you. Um, so I, I'm sort of not believing that it's actually open, but it is. It's open. Comes like that. You just turn the cap and it's already open. So I'm the, just looking at the directions one more time just to see if there is any specific directions on assembling it. Um, probably should have read it before doing the video, but I didn't. Uh, so this is real time. So there's a drawing on the cover of the instruction book. That's basically what I'm going with. It's showing you all the pieces and like just put here kind of thing. See, I still don't believe that it's open, but I'm going to try it. You have to squeeze this glue really hard, but I'm going to give myself a nice big dollop and grab a toothpick and start to assemble. There's a cat behind me scratching on my chair. Anyway, so I'll put some more glue out there. Now, the thing with this kit is there's these little side pieces. Um, I'm questioning it right now, which side goes to which side, thinking, oh, they might be universal, right? Or, you know, is, is there a marking on it that says left or right or this way? piece A, piece B, no, there's none of that, that I could see anyway. Um, the kit is plastic, by the way, so the super glue really worked very well on it. Um, and I, I like that the gel took a little bit longer than super glue to hold, but held it really tight. So now there's little, I want to call them dimples on the back that these little dowels on the side pieces go. They're not like, you don't snap them in or anything. It's just sort of a, like I said, a little dimple um, for the tip of the dowel to go and the glue to go in, which is kind of handy, except for the fact that I still cannot figure out which side <laughs> goes to which side. Now the picture doesn't show it but there is a difference in the length of those two dowels that go into the back. And, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out until something went very wrong. So I'm just going to let you watch for a while. You can see I'm holding it in place. 
thinking that the glue is going to dry really, really fast, like regular kind of crazy glue, super glue that sticks to your fingers, makes you kind of glue all your fingers together. Well, that doesn't happen with this stuff. So it's nice in that it holds it there, but it's still not really dry. Again, I'm just dipping it into the glue. And putting it in those little dimples. By the way, if you see these kits, they are fantastic. Pick one up because they do make new ones and I did buy a different kind of chair. I forgot what they call it. Um, I got them off of eBay for like $4.98 a kit plus shipping, but I bought four. So the shipping didn't really make a big difference, but um, they are so detailed. There's wood grain on the, on the little ladder backs. And there's lots of little scrolling work on the, all the little dowel pieces. And once it's together, it's pretty solid. Oh, and the seat. Got to talk about the seat because the seat is like a cane pattern on, replicated on it. And it's really well done. Really, really well done. Whoever did this back in the 80s, I mean, I can't even believe. Now, remember... This was not 3D. I'm looking at the chair saying something's not right here. I'm trying to be all fancy with my tweezers, but it's not helping. It was actually harder to do that way. But remember, they poured the plastic into a mold to do these things. I bought this kit secondhand, so it wasn't on those. Now I'm looking at it saying, what is this? What is this? It doesn't stand. Oh no, there's something majorly wrong here. Something's gone very, very wrong. Obviously, I don't have the sides where they're supposed to be. At this point, I don't remember, but I think I not only had them on the wrong sides, but I think they were upside down. <laughs> I'm getting very frustrated as you can see. So those little dowels that I'm pointing to are two different lengths. But if you look on the picture, the dowels are the same length. I'll figure it out. Believe me, I'll figure it out. So while you watch me figure this out, these chairs must have come on a little strip. They used to, um, actually, I think the new kits still do. When you bought toys or anything that was plastic, it, the, the, there was like a little channel that the plastic ran through to get to all of the little pieces, even the tiniest little dowel. And they all were attached when the mold was opened. And you had to just kind of twist it off, or sometimes you had to snip it off. Um, very easily they came off. And it used to leave, I don't know if anybody remembers, it used to leave like a little plastic piece. This kit doesn't have it. I'm not saying that they didn't, because I got the kit like this. It wasn't on those little plastic pipe things. So now I'm figuring out the chair. Figuring out, and watch how fast it goes once you know how it goes. <laughs> I could have just avoided, cut out the entire part of me not being able to assemble the chair right, but I figured you guys should really see it in real time. I'm not doing a tutorial, I'm just kind of showing you that I put, ah, and there goes the camera. <laughs> you don't want that to happen on your chair. Okay, piece number four about to go in. 
We're almost there. It's looking better already. Look, it's kind of looking square. Trying to hold it together. It feels flimsy until the glue dries and you get that seat on there. And then it's super solid. I'm trying to make sure that all the legs are hitting the ground so that it's not like a rickety chair. Although that is the look that I'm going for for this chair in the end. Um, I want it to be like one of those chairs that it doesn't go to anybody's dining room set or kitchen set anymore. It's just sort of been, you know, painted a million times and tossed back and forth. Kind of used as an extra chair. Now to get the seat on. There's two little divots I'm showing you there that kind of show that that goes in the back. Still got an itch there. I made this video probably about two weeks ago. And I finally... I'm getting to do the voiceover because I've tried many times not knowing what was wrong um, and then tried to answer my phone one day and without my earbuds and they couldn't hear me. After several phone calls I figured it out that something's wrong with my microphone. So now I am 12 minutes in and I'm really hoping that this voiceover is working. Because like I said, I think I've tried the voicemail like four or five times. So now while it was easy to do the glue dipping the little spindles in, you kind of got to use a toothpick to get the glue in these little fine spots. to push it down and I'm just afraid that the whole thing is going to fall apart because like I said it does feel wobbly but then in the end it's super solid super super good again I'm just making sure that the legs all are, are hitting the floor and that it stands pretty well without falling over and I'm trying to get the extra glue off. And there's ravioli coming in for a visit. <laughs> and I just realized that, oh, don't step in the glue. <laughs> there, that'll prevent that. sure I'm happy with it. And I am happy with it. Honestly, I, I'm so happy with the way it finally turned out that I went and bought some other kits too. So we'll have a lot to do. And now I'm just leaving it, letting it dry. And there it is. Now stay tuned because I'm about to show you how I painted this chair, but I think we'll wait for 